clever invention for hiding gambling items in the event of a police raid. The hammer. Jack Cole, I remember him from the raid three years ago. Doesn't look like a key from an ordinary door. The man from the gambling room was the same car cheating accessory. A crack. There might be something behind the cupboard. Suitcase belonging to that fellow with the hair lip. No doubt these things were stolen. Our man, most likely with his family. After moving into our new home. This fellow pawned his belongings. He must be in great need of money. It's evident that all of these items were stolen by Jack Cole's gang. From here it's possible to observe what's going on inside the town. This fellow pawned his belongings. He must be in great need of money. God's still here. I need to finish here first.
They only left this room recently. possible to observe what's going on inside the town. I need to finish here first. Butler's pawn shop. He apparently lives near this portion. What's going on in there? I'll kill you! <laughs> Holmes! You sneaky bastard! I'll kill you! Bastard, I'll kill you!
you... You are Alice, yeah? Listen, Holmes suspects something. What are you talking about? You must be more discreet. Your little game with his daughter. No, no, no! Too soft, Holmes! But you are Mr. Holmes. Why on earth? You see, she recognized you. And I expected it. You must live the character. You see... Now you go upstairs right away or I will drive you back to that pub. Understood? And there you are. You've got it. I... <laughs> All right. But seriously, you should take acting classes. I know that you came here to avenge your father. You moved into my building, you've spied on me, and now you prepare your revenge through my own daughter. Don't be such a fool. I adore your daughter. You see conspiracies in everything. I have good reason to. Perhaps you forget what I do for a living. How I pity you. You mistake sincerity for dishonesty. Do you dare tell me that your presence here is accidental? Obviously not. When the opportunity arose for me to meet you, then I came, but not with hatred, rather more with fascination. I had hoped to learn something about my father from you, some answers as to my identity, when, strangely enough, I find that you yourself are a riddle, even to your own daughter. You shouldn't have involved my daughter in your sick problems. You're only confusing her. It's over. She doesn't know it yet, but I'll be leaving soon. I've finished my business here, and you will never hear from me again. Good. But you better speak to me directly. No being furtive. I had no idea that you could show such a high level of indulgence towards the children of criminals. You... I'm going. Please, I beg you, do not spoil my last moments with Caitlin. Here it is. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes, you're still alive. I can tell that that displeases you. Oh, a faulty deduction for once. Due to the attempt made on my life, I would like you to apprehend Jack Cole. All right, Mr. Holmes, we'll apprehend him immediately. Inspector, the suspect has been apprehended. There you are, he's all yours. No need to thank me. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. So, Jack the Hammer Cole, we meet again. <sighs> why am I here? Don't pretend that you don't know. You're a suspect in the case of an attempt made on my life. Rubbish. Just like the old days, eh? Arresting me on suspicion. You've got nothing. Oh, no. How about the revenge for the trouble that I brought to your gang? And also your brother. Don't you dare mention my brother. Your brother was hurt. It was a regrettable accident. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I can hardly be blamed for that. What? You bastard. You're the one responsible for him becoming a cripple. He was innocent. An accident, you say? Oh, I can't wait for the moment that you get whacked proper. Quad Erat demonstrate. <laughs> That's your proof. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. Do you know what happened at Baker Street that night? I do know, but I had nothing to do with it. And where were you at the time? I was at my tavern all night long. I see. I went to your place and I saw a man with a hair lip arriving to meet with you. What business do you have with him? Business? He's a regular customer, that's all. And what about the suitcase that your regular customer brought to you? What? What are you talking about? You're a nutter. You'd better not insult me. What's the reason for my arrest?
Personalized thuggery. How novel. Expensive cigarettes. Our suspect with his family near their house. Good day to you, madam. Good day, sir. I'm here to see your son. Jeremiah? He's not at home now. Might I ask you a few questions about him? Perhaps we could speak inside. I don't know who you are, sir, but I'll have to ask you to leave right away. She won't speak with a stranger. <laughs> it's a good thing that I came to help you at the tap. Actually, Wiggins, an exorcism. Protocol 2.5 on Lambeth Street. Yeah, you can count on us, Gov. Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, no matter how imp
I should use my makeup to disguise my identity. We're ready, Gov. We're ready, Gov. Someone close the door. I should find a way to attract the attention of Jeremiah's mother. School. Refrain from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not yourself, it tends only to evil. Thank you, Father. You are so kind. Those brats are always causing trouble. Now, where are my manners? May I offer you a cup of tea as a small thank you? I don't know if... Oh, God bless you, sister. My name is Margaret Thorne. It is an honor that God sent you to me. You appear grieved, sister. Is it because of those children? Oh, no. It is my son, Jeremiah. I fear that he is doing bad things, Father. How bad? I don't know. He has just become nervous and angry and rude. And he used to be such a nice boy. These days he won't spend any time at all with us. Not even with Janet, his younger sister. He hides himself away inside his room and locks the door. And he won't open it for anyone. And where is your son? I don't know where he is. He hasn't come back from last night. I'm so worried. Perhaps his absence is connected with his job. Where does he work? I don't know if he has a job, Father. I've asked him several times, but he just gets angry and won't speak. Perhaps Jeremiah is being poorly influenced by his friends. I wouldn't know. He never mentions any friends. I am afraid that he could be possessed by the devil himself. He's changed so drastically lately. He won't tell me anything and he flies into rages and shouts at me. I don't know what to do. Don't distress yourself, sister. You were right to confess. Truly, I, I can feel an evil presence in this apartment. Oh, God! Allow me to search for the demon in this house. God bless you, Father. Bookcase and books, possessed wood and words, expel your literary demons! <laughs> Whoa! 
wooden door! Iron handle! Battle the demon! Unholy vandal! Fire and flames! Better for crumpets than foul-toothed demons! Be gone and bring peace! <laughs> Sister, you saw that the demon has taken shelter in Jeremiah's room. I should go there alone. God save us. Sister, wait for me outside. This fight will be a fierce one. God help us. I'll do what you say. A schematic for a homemade bomb. One of the solenoids for creating a bomb. This is evidence enough to put Jeremiah behind bars. This is probably Janet, Jeremiah's sister. It looks as though this letter was torn up in rage. I should reassemble the fragments to read what was written. It appears that Jeremiah received a threatening letter from somebody known as the Dart. The Dart. He was at the center of a notorious case from 1888. He planned to escape from London. It's over. The demon is defeated. Oh, thank you. Bless you, Father. Now, pray for Jeremiah's soul and give thanks, sister. Goodbye. Lord be praised. Goodbye. Here it is.
Lestrade, I have a suspect in our case. It's Percy Fleming. Can you apprehend him? I'll give the order to the constables. Inspector, we have the second suspect for you. Now, just admit that Scotland Yard is looking after you well, eh? Well, I'd be of little use to you dead. Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you, Percy the Dart Fleming. Huh. It's the flopper. Flopper? You're aware of what happened to Baker Street the other night. I'd say I'm a little luckier than that. Well, I don't give a fig. What were you doing two nights ago, around 1 a.m.? I was at the White Swan. The White Swan? The brothel that you own? That can't be counted as an alibi. What do I need an alibi for? Does the name Jeremiah ring any bells with you? It's the first time I've heard it. How about this threatening letter that bears your name? Oh, I remember now. A threat? Come on. Just a reminder for him to pay his debts. It's just a small one, and it's a matter of principle. How do you know him? Ah, oh, he's always coming around, begging for odd jobs. But he just talks rubbish. He's off his head. Do you have any business with Jack the Hammer Cole? I have. He sometimes provides my business with goals. But he's stupid. A hot-headed clown. Yeah. I'd be worried about him if I were you. Yes? He told me what you did to his brother, and... <laughs> well, let's just say he hates you. Looks like encrypted records. A spintria used in the brothels of ancient Rome. Well, that's rather tasteless.
Please, escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me about the business that you have with Percy Fleming. What? I don't have any business with him. No? Oh. Well, you supply girls to his institution. He's confessed. Well, he's a liar. Oi, why did you tell them I supply girls to your brothel? Eh? What are you talking about? Text is encrypted. If it's Caesar's shift code, it might be easily deciphered.
It's a notebook filled with debts. And Jeremiah's name is on the list. Get into the cab, quickly! I should find a way to get inside. <laughs> 